Here's a quick fire of today's headlines. Vice President Lenny Robredo's camp clarified that the vice president will remain as such. Whatever the decision of the PET will be on former Senator Bongbong Marcos' electoral protest. The next round of deliberations is on the, on the case is scheduled tomorrow. Robredo's lead counsel, Romulo Macalintal, said the tribunal will only rule on whether the poll protest will continue after examining the results from the three pilot provinces. Chief Justice Lucas Bersamin earlier denied reports that the PET will vote 8-6 to six in favor of Marcos's electoral protest. New documents show that the Supreme Court had already suspended Larry Gadon from practice back in June for using foul or abusive language that displayed arrogance toward the legal system and his colleagues. Gadon was not allowed to practice law for three months and despite this, he still represented whistleblower Peter Jomel Advincola throughout the Bicoy controversy. And the Department of Foreign Affairs reported that over 4,800 OFWs have been repatriated from the United Arab Emirates since January of this year. It cost the government over 135 million pesos to bring them home. And on Sunday, nearly 160 distressed Filipino migrant workers from Abu Dhabi and Dubai arrived in the Philippines. Most of them were victims of human trafficking. Consul General to Dubai Paul Raymond Cortez also said the victims were overworked, suffered maltreatment, and experienced contract violations by their employers. The DFA has been receiving reports about illegal recruiters using a third or fourth country, usually where a visa is not required for Filipinos, and some countries in the Middle East as jump-off points to send Pinoy workers to banned destinations.